This is the craziest live stream I think I have ever done because people are coming. This is the craziest live stream I've ever done because I have one phone doing TikTok, one phone doing Instagram. Hi, Instagram, come on aboard. And a computer doing all the other social media on StreamYard. So um, if I look like I'm off looking off to the side or something, it's just because I've got three cameras. It's very bizarre. Okay, tonight I want to talk to men. There's so much new research. Literally, the data out there on dating apps and what women are swiping on and what you can potentially match with is ginormous. So, um, ladies, go away. Just go away, okay, because I want to talk to men because there's some science data on what men, what women like in dating apps. So, um, Okay, should we get going? Should we wait till a few more people come on? Uh, I know that a lot of people make New Year's resolutions for uh, dating, saying this is going to be their year. This is when they're going to find a new relationship. And I'm a little bit obsessed with the science of love, of course. And because of the data and because of online dating and dating apps, we can now tell exactly, you know, what people are clicking on and why. On my show on Sunday, I'm going to talk a little bit, a lot longer on my radio show this Sunday on KFI AM 640. You can listen on the iHeartRadio app. Um, I'm going to talk a lot more about what women want when they're looking at dating apps. Now, I've always had my opinion about what women like because I've uh, swiped a little bit myself. I met my own boyfriend on Bumble, in fact. So here we go. Guys, are you ready? Let's go to the first thing. And this is according to science. I have some notes here too to make sure I get it accurately and quote it where it needs to be quoted. Uh, okay, number one thing to include in your dating profile, gentlemen, show a little bit of stubble. In a um, study that was printed in the Evolution and Human, the public, the, the publication Evolution and Human Behavior, women gravitate gravitated to images featuring men with stubble and beards. Interesting enough, in that same study, they also asked men what they thought might be attractive in men. I guess they asked heterosexual men and they agreed with the women. In fact, women reported that when a man had a full beard, he looked more paternal and looked like he would m be more into a long-term relationship. So show a little bit of stubble, guys. Make sure you have at least one picture in your dating profile that, according to science, is going to help you. Okay, uh, number two. Do not hide your age. And what I mean by that, of course, the dating apps show what your actual age is or however you lie when you register. But um, if you're a little older, don't color that hair. Show some wrinkles. Show a little bit of gray. Because guess what? Women suffer from something called the George Clooney effect, uh, coined by a sociologist in, I think, Scotland. Uh, she determined that no matter how successful a woman becomes in life, she wants a man even more older and a little more successful. And so she assumes that he was, if he's a little older than her, that he's had more time, we're talking evolutionary psychology here, to acquire more resources. Because we know women like stable men with jobs, paychecks, and resources. Okay, um, interesting, we see a lot of body shots on dating apps, and guys, it's great that you work out so much. Although at a certain age, guys, put your shirts on. If you're over 40, please put your shirt on. Keep it on. If you're ripped, it can be a little tight. We can see a little outline of a muscle, fine. Okay, number three, be fit, but not too ripped. Uh, a study printed in, what was that one from? Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin found that women, of course, do prefer muscular mates, but not too muscular. Because as soon as you get either too pumped up, it gets associated with he's not very smart. And if you get too ripped, then women think he's spending all his life at the gym. He's not out there making money to feed babies. Just saying that women think like that. All right, number four, the fourth thing you should put in your dating profile, gentlemen. Number four, da 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 da. Wear a red shirt. By the way, ladies, if anybody's hung in here, uh, it works for you too. Research has shown that when somebody wears a red shirt in their profile picture of their dating profile, they actually get more swipe ripes or matches or hearts or loves, however the app works. Um, and finally, da 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 da. Go upscale, gentlemen. What does that mean? Uh, you know, if you only wear a suit, 
once a year to your cousin's wedding, do it for your dating profile. Because even if she's looking for a rugged handyman type, she's going to appreciate that you can be classy when you need to be. And also it's telling her unconsciously that, you know, you're a little more successful in life. It doesn't matter. She'll meet you. She'll fall in love with you all about your personality and your looks and everything else. But when they're just swiping on dating apps and they're making split second decisions, look, if you have an ugly house or you have an apartment that's not going to look good in a picture, go to a museum, stand in front of a beautiful Doric column on the outside and have someone take a picture of you. You'll look classy, really. Don't be afraid to upscale yourself. It's not surprising. A study that came out in the British Journal of Psychology had women compare photos of men driving a Ford. No, not an F-150. We like that. Uh, no, a Ford Fiesta and also men driving a Bentley. And who do you think got the more likes? Duh! We need research for some of this stuff. Okay, guys. And then I just want to add something personal from my own. Uh, please. If you don't have anybody to take pictures of you and you have to resort to taking a selfie in the bathroom, like my heart breaks for you, first of all. You look really lonely when you're taking a selfie in the bathroom mirror, really lonely. And we don't like the lone wolves. We wanna make sure that you have a few friends. That's the first thing. So get somebody to take a picture of you. But if you do have to resort to taking a picture in the bathroom, a selfie, please. Do not show the toilet. And if you have to, don't have the toilet seat up. Unconsciously, we do not want to associate your gorgeous face with excrement. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Women have a very low disgust tolerance compared to men. This has been proven in lots and lots of studies. So no toilets in the background. As I like to say, every picture you post on a dating app, you should have done a background check. Look in the background, see what's there. Is your room messy? Because we are, yeah, we're not into looks as much as you think we are. We'd rather read the words you put than look at your pictures, but we will take our little fingers and zoom right in and we will try to figure out the brand name of that lamp because we're trying to figure out if it's from Restoration Hardware or Ikea. I'm not joking. These are the things that women determine before they hit that match. Sounds superficial. It's supposed to be superficial. This is human mating. And at the very beginning, it's just a quick little swipe. And it's a split second, often unconscious decision. No, this isn't deep. Once you have her and you're matched, then I can give you other tips of what you should do at the beginning and how you should get her on a date or on the phone and what you should do to assess her. I'm just talking about your very beginning brochure, okay? Make it simple. All right, let me go to a few questions and see if we have any. Go over to the comments here. Um, somebody said, darn, they have a Ford. Look, if it's a nice F-150, ma'am, we like that. I drove eight states this summer in my Tesla. There are superchargers everywhere, just to let you know. But uh, recently I rented a Ford F-150. And now I know why it's the number one selling car in America. No, this isn't a commercial. I just, I was like, wow, that is something. And guys look great in that car. So we just need Elon to come out with that electric pickup truck and we'll be fine. Um, okay, thank you for the compliments. That's nice. That's all I'm seeing in the comments are compliments, which is very sweet. Uh, any question? Here's a question. Where am I from? I was born on a little island on the East Coast of Canada. No, I wasn't. I was born in Nova Scotia but all my family is from Prince Edward Island on the East Coast of Canada. So I always say I'm from Prince Edward Island because we moved so much and that was kind of like my home. Um, somebody asked me, is it better to be forward or take it slow? It depends. Are you an extrovert? Do you have good game? Is being forward part of your shtick? Then work it. If you're an introvert and you wanna be careful, my teenager's here, is something wrong with my technology? What? <laughs> She's my IT department. She's 17. Do you think I could pull this off all on my own? What's a f <laughs> She's like hovering, but just not quite in frame. So it's a little weird. Here, like, just put your nose in. Just put your nose in. No, <laughs> it's weird. It's like this person came and she's like, right, right, right there. Oh, there's some fingers. <laughs> okay, so that's the answer to where I'm from. Uh, anybody else have any questions before I go? Uh, where are you tonight? This is not your normal backdrop. This is my normal backdrop. I'm at home, but it's night. How about that? And so the light is a little different maybe. 
Uh, thank you, Roller Girl, that my audio and video is good. Look, I'm holding a little round mic here for all the computer people. Um, and if I don't see any more questions, let's see. Uh, what's your age? You're so gorgeous. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. I'm very proud to say that I am 58 years old. I know, nothing done. See, but I could use some Botox right there, do you think? I think I could. Um, but anyway, I found a lovely boyfriend on Bumble who's around my age. So I like to date people who are my age. I'm not going to date anymore. I think I'm going to keep this one. I think he's great. Um, okay. I guess no questions. Just good night. Um, nice to see you all. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Where else have I got? I don't know where else you could be watching me. Maybe LinkedIn. Anyway, I'm here every Wednesday at six o'clock. We'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, Jonesy, now you have to show me how to end everything, my love.